That is easily the best 17 solo for me, personally. Uh, that's on a personal note. Um, I, I knew this music video would do exactly what I figured Dino would do since the very beginning. I have just always... So very been curious about his personal direction. And we'll get into that in a little bit. Uh, we'll actually rewatch the video to get into that. But of all the 17 solos, I thought this would be one of the most important. And... I thought it would also be probably the most exciting out of all of them. And I was right. Um, I, I think a lot, a lot about this music video, first of all, compared to the other uh, solos thus far, it's not based on, oh, someone's video is better than the other. No, 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 no. It's uh, based purely on... It's based purely on style. Uh, this is this is Dino, ladies and gentlemen. I uh, I figured just Dino being Dino, he would have so much swagger, so much style. Dino dances and acts with, and look at this expression right here. With he dances with such an intensity, like he has something to prove when he really doesn't, but he does. And the thing is, Dino, oh, like many other K-pop dancers, especially idols going through the system, definitely has like a Michael Jackson 
influence to it. It is one of his um, influenced, um, like influential artists. But everyone does it in a different way, right? It's their inspiration for wanting to be an artist. But who are you as an artist? And Dino is so. Ooh, he is so sensual, so so beautiful. Um, it. I I was always curious as to. I see on a performance level what he adds to Seventeen. I've always been curious what he adds musically to Seventeen. And thinking back to all of Seventeen's uh, performance unit songs, it definitely seems like a lot of the uh, aquatic stuff was definitely uh, up his alley and part of his influence. Uh, Weight is definitely along more that line. And... I think he does it in such a cool way. He does it so. He does it in such an intense, slick, and sexy, intense way. But unlike other people who do a sexy dance, emotional, I'm a crazy good dancer concept, Dino does what 17 does best. He goes for emotion. He goes for. And it's, it's probably the one. Follow through across all of 17's solo debut music videos. One, this is shot by Origin Film. So two, uh, two uh, it's going to look beautiful in general. But two, just their music videos are always just moving. God, they're moving. Do you know, he, this is a very seductive song. But often with seduction, you might want to go for something that's slower darker somber but instead he does something that's way more fast-paced lighter uh like he's kind of out of breath uh he he's impatient uh wow superb uh let's go ahead and watch this music video one more time Once you're walking on your mind, number here, go to my Gaka was in the ship, but so far on a long No man waiting, choose a hammer, mom, shoot the most bad, boom, double in a mood, and you can't say so. Okay, so oh, wow, wow, I love his vocals so much. I was containing my excitement a lot in that first watch through. But the first thing that actually made me actually shout was Dino's vocals. It's not this part. It's later on. But God, I'm, I'm on the second listen through. I'm appreciating it so much more. But something I really like. Um, this, man, I haven't seen a 17 music video like this in a while. Uh, this feels like it's a little bit reminiscent of like their trauma and clap era type of videos. Just... A lot of practical effects, uh, just practical effects being not CG uh, necessarily, but. And for the video that it's being, it being a sensual, seductive, uh, crazy dance video, he's also trying to make this look like a vintage retro uh almost like a photograph not even a video but um you see how grainy it is he's trying to make it look more like film quite literally like film he mm, this is not a look you often go for with uh with a, not even just a music video but a dance video but also a pop dance video and his shot choices my god from from the off angle aerial shot with the beautiful patterns like everything about this is so artistic to the aerial shot and notice this about the editing too that's really well done the editing is very fast So it feels like the music video has been moving fast from the 
from the moment Dino gets basically passed up for his number. And then from that point, he's kind of wandering around. But with the editing and obviously the music itself, uh, it just kind of leads into that moment with a lot of great momentum. It's kind of playing with like the, the, I don't want to wait. I'm impatient. And the, the chorus is his sort of visual big impact. Is this also? It's also the first time the kick comes in too. You hear some percussion. Oh, I see. The kicks are way more... Way more aggressive than the chorus, buddy. Ooh, Ooh what is? Okay, I can't be sure. That dun 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 dun, dun sounds like a synth or like a piano. Um. Why does that sound like it? I think every every single hit of the key is matching the kick as well. So they're going off at the same time. And you guys can hear how fast and aggressive it is too. So it, it's causing such a weird, I don't know, weird sensory reaction. <laughs> See, it's really through the editing and it's really through the clever way of this is a really great music video. It doesn't have a super deep plot or story. The plot's really simple. He's saying, listen, girl, I don't want to wait. Don't make me wait. And basically the music video is having to come up with multiple different scenarios and artistic imagery to keep you on your toes to not be bored by the video which definitely not and the song obviously helps with keeping it interesting but wow these shots are so friggin awesome <laughs> wow Oh, wow. It's like the text scrolling out. That's awesome. The dots lead into the clock and it zooms right out. Is that? Okay. Oh, wow. Wow. That's where... Okay, see, that right there, that right there, I don't want to talk about it yet, but that right there is where Dino's vocals made me start going, oh my god. But um, are those, uh, are those background vocals, is that woozy? Is that, is that woozy? Oh, I, 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 okay, I, I want to focus on whether or not that vocal is woozy or not. But then the moment that background vocal is ending, the, na, 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 this crazy ass vocal he's pulling off. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Tell me, wait. Wow, they use this entire scene as so basically what an ordinary music video would do. Here's why this transition is so friggin' fantastic. What would ordinary be a cut for any other video? Don't tell me, wait. Anybody else? Down, down. Where they cut right there with uh, Dino standing solitarily right here. That solitary shot with the rotating light 
and the the CG like sidewalk things coming up. That part right there, they're using that as basically a piece of transition. Uh, even though it is a shot, it's really meant to actually more serve as a transition for that dun dun shot and then give you the sudden impact of seeing you're expecting another kind of wide uh artistic painting of a shot like this right but then all of a sudden no what no it's dino's sexy dirty listen i'm not calling him dirty i mean he's literally covered in grime uh as on screen and dancing in front of you it's it's that kind of um shock value from a wide to a sudden up in your face that they were going for to get, really catch you off guard. I, I love that transition right there. Oh, oh. oh my God. God. The, the parts where they decide to really freeze, like stop in moments of the video. Whoa, whoa. Dino is so weird for holding it there. The edit is so weird for holding it there. That is not where you would expect that to go. See, throwing in the random black and white, beautiful artistic shots. Oh my God. Okay, can I say, okay, okay. Here's exactly why I knew this music video would be the way it is. I say this with all the love in my heart. Dino, I love you. Chana, I love you. Here's the thing. I know Dino, he has this flair and this man loves himself and he loves this job, but he first and foremost loves himself. I'm sure that, you know, Dino uh, uh, faces some uh, insecurities uh, like the rest of us do. But just on a base level of like comparing me to or just like I think most ordinary people to someone like Dino is like, that's a man that loves himself and also knows how good he is. It, it's been evident for quite a few years now that Dino has been doing something behind the scenes. Kind of like just like upgrading himself and his arsenal and it's been just now invading 17's comebacks just i don't know how many comebacks now dino is out here just just doing all this crazy shit and it's just what is this energy that he's bringing but dino has always had this confidence and this fire about him that especially when he was younger as a kid, it came off very naughty and a little cheeky. And I, I always really liked that. It, it, it came off as being a little fun, but a little rough. But as he got older, it actually kind of smoothed out and it became a lot more fluid and slick. And, and his, the, the various members of the performance unit all love themselves. That is also, that is, I, I think that's, it's got to be a dancer thing, like like uh, like Hoshi Jun, uh, the eights. They all love themselves, but in all such different ways. But I have always really loved kind of Dino's personality. There's something very Ooh, fluid, sexy, cute, and a huge amount of showmanship. It's very masculine, but also very fluid as well. Oh. Tell me. See that, that right there, that, that's the kind of shit that Dino has been doing in like 17 music videos. See, but like Dino would do it for like a second in like a 17 music video. Um, just show off like this. So please don't tell me. Wow. Wait. 
I, I, I don't know. Maybe I'm biased. Maybe I'm biased. I just feel like I've never seen an idol dance like this in a music video before. Maybe I'm biased. Maybe I love this man too much. But this part right here. When he goes like this and moves. Oh. See, this, this expression is why I love him. This is why I love Dino. This look in his eyes. Oh, Dino! 12 out of 10. Okay, first of all, why? Uh, the song, in terms of just like 17's performance unit history, uh, their more aquatic-based beats have always been my favorites. So this is already right up my alley. Two, I always knew Dino would really live up to his potential as being a phenomenal, but also just a ace of a dancer, of an, of, of an intense dancer. But I had no idea he would do it in such a artful way. There is something very, I don't know how to put it, very yin and yang about him. Very masculine, but also um, appropriately balanced out, like not too masculine, like the song feels very clean and refreshing, but at the same, and he's wearing like this pretty blue, but at the same time, uh, he's in an urban city and he's dressed really grimy like a mechanic. Um, but with the trippy uh, angles and the moment where the light comes in, there's, uh, there, there, there just feels, there just feels like there's something more of a elevated performative element element to this uh solo debut as i expected there would be uh than the others that i i love about it i i knew i really wanted a 17 member to do a solo like this i really loved hoshi spider um ruby the eight june everyone has had really fantastic solos but i wanted someone to god damn do a music video like this dino my favorite 17 solo 12 out of 10. My God. Um, and the music video too. Rhythm Film really made it look so beautiful and look so sentimental and emotional. They really helped bring Dino's vision to life, I think, um, by making it feel so weird. Don't you watch this music video and you think like, oh, I feel so weird. Like, he takes you somewhere. He really, he takes you somewhere. Mark my words, this is single-handedly probably the most important 17 solo debut to ever happen. I expected it would be because it was Dino, and it was. It, it really, really was. Um, I, I, I love this. I would love to know what did you guys love about this. If I had to pick a favorite moment from the music video... Um, it would probably be, I think it's the general fact of how Dino, compared to any other idol, Dino, I genuinely believe, might actually know, like, might actually have superpowers. Like, not to, like, some crazy conspiracy level, but I mean, to a level of, like, I think he might actually be able to, like, manipulate energy or, like, manipulate sound, like, the element of sound. The way he moves and, and, and the way he moves the beat or controls it, either the man is so one with the beat that it, it just comes off that fluid or the man can really just control, um, control moments, control time. Because look at this. Wait. Just. Wait. Wow. Yeah. Constantly using a lot of fill shots for the different transitions. You you saw that different traffic light, and all of them being you know related to just B roll of uh, I don't want to wait, girl. But very beautiful. Are these lens flares? Yeah, uh, of course the lens flares here at the end. Love it. Okay, uh, guys, thank you for tuning in. Hope you enjoyed that reaction review to Dino's weight. Uh, if you enjoyed that, uh, we have a bunch of seventeen reactions on our Patreon. So. 
Uh, if you want to check that out, you can. It's uh, down in the link below. Um, if you enjoyed this and you want to support the channel, we're actually going to be doing some bonus reactions in December as well. But of course, if you don't want to support the channel, that's completely fine. You can always like the video down below. Uh, I'm back. Um, now that you see all these videos coming out, uh, I'm back. Uh, I needed to take some time away, but uh, I hope you guys enjoy these videos and look forward to what we have in the future. But um, thanks for tuning in. Uh, if you want to support the channel for free, remember you can always subscribe down below. Uh, we're going to have a button for you right here, actually. You can check out our other videos over here and right here. And I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.